Hi guys, this is a part 3 on how to start streaming. Today I will be showing you guys how to set up your OBS to begin streaming. Assuming you have already spruced up your Twitch page and everything to make your Twitch page look nice. So a lot of people ask, which is better? Stream Elements, Streamlabs OBS, or regular OBS? So I personally have had experience with OBS and Streamlabs OBS, so I can't really say much about Stream Elements. However, between Streamlabs OBS and OBS, so or Slobs and OBS, um, from my personal experience, Slobs has better integration with Streamlabs. It's easier to go at alert boxes, um, I don't know, chat box, um, stream label, so the ones that say daily sub goal, etc, etc. It is easier to add those because of the UI integration. However, Slobs literally craps on your CPU like no tomorrow. My CPU and stuff would almost be completely maxed out when I was using Slobs. So if you have a really doo-doo computer, I recommend using OBS Live, which is what I currently use. And OBS Live is generally better because even though the UI is a little bit harder to use, it's, it has a steeper learning curve. Once you get used to it, it's actually pretty easy to use. Pretty easy to use. And again, um, it won't. It'll, it's a lot easier on your CPU. So if you want to add a lot of scenes and filters and etc. or effects, ten out of ten recommends OBS Live. So first, just look up OBS Live. So first, go to OBS Live, and I guess like OBS Live and Stream Elements have some integration. Actually, for this, I'm not super sure about it, not gonna lie. But just download it, and then... Okay, I'm gonna try to go show you guys this. I've never- I've always struggled to go try to show my OBS, but... Uh, I put my face here to go block the whole like trippy thing that happens when you go screen record your OBS, so... Hope you guys like looking at me in a larger <laughs> camera. So you're gonna go to scenes, and then I already have a lot of scenes set up, like you can see it right here, I have a ton. But if we're starting from scratch, let us go to hit plus and then rename your scene. So like, let's see, I'm just gonna name this, um, basic stream scene. But if you look over here, I have two captures. So I have a display capture and audio input capture. It defaults you to an audio input capture. It already adds a microphone. However, if you have the microphone, that means on every single scene, you can hear the mic. And I personally do not ha like people hearing the mic when I am, um, when I'm using my BRB scene or my, um, stream starting scene just because uh you know if i'm talking to family or like you know i'm like tripped over my headphones because i do that a lot kind of don't want people to hear that so this is why i do it this way where i put an audio input capture and i mute the mic because therefore um i can choose which scenes have an audio input capture and which ones don't now that i have a display capture you can basically just see the display and you can hear me talk now if you would like to add a video capture hit plus and then go to video capture device. I already have it preset as for my webcam. So we're gonna, oh, ooh, hello, I'm really big. So we can just scale it down like this and we can make it bigger or smaller depending on how large you would like it to be. Now, if you would like to crop it only for one scene, you can hold alt and then just click and drag and then it will crop your webcam to whatever size you want. I recommend cropping out any unnecessary stuff. So what I see a lot of people do is they will have their webcam like this, right? But this is kind of pointless, right? Now I have a crap ton of space here and okay, I like my monkeys though, they're pretty important. But I have a bunch of space here that doesn't add extra information into my stream and it will block important gameplay UI. So like if I have my face here, right? If I'm playing League, I put my face here, either I'm blocking my items or I will be blocking the mini map, which neither of which is kind of like, eh. So if you hold shift, shift eh, sorry, English, and you just kind of like crop yourself a little bit like this, you crop out the unnecessary stuff and then you make yourself look a little bit smaller. Bam! Now you have your little video, your little display capture, or whatever, and it's showing your beautiful face, but that's about it. Not any extra random info that will, or random stuff in your camera that will block out your part of your gameplay, because we definitely do not want that. Now, if you want to add more to your stream, what you really need, guys, is you guys must, must, must have an alert box. Now, what is an alert box, guys? If you've ever gone into people's streams and you see, like, you know, 
a little gif will pop up with a little sound and it'll be like ding um cat Lante has followed that is done by an alert box and the reason why you want to have an alert box is you want to give your viewers attention okay as somebody who watches a lot of people's streams, if I go into your stream, I want to get noticed. But how am I supposed to get noticed if you don't have a little alert box to be like, ding, Cat Liente followed or Cat Liente gifted $5. You know, that's the whole beauty of Twitch, that live interaction. And it's so fun. And not having an alert box takes away from it. And honestly, if I were to go into somebody's stream and they did not have an alert box, so I, they were, and they didn't, they didn't notice that I followed, I would just leave because... um. I would go to somebody else that could give me that attention. So let us add the alert box. So I'm going to go drag myself over here real quick. Oh, let me go make myself bigger though, because I... <laughs> All right, so then we're going to go to... Oops. All right, let me go close this. We're going to open up Streamlabs. And then we're gonna go to alert box right here. Now, if you are using um, if you're using OBS and not a Streamlabs OBS automatically links it. But if you're using OBS, you need to go and copy the widget URL. So if we wanted to add our alert box, we're gonna go to the plus here. We're gonna go add browser source. Let's add it, and then you would go and paste the link right here. Again, I don't want to show you my link, so we're just gonna go and cancel that. But you would go paste it there, and then make sure it's centered wherever you want. Don't make it like utterly massive because the problem is like you also don't want the alert to go and detract from gameplay if you're not a just chatting streamer. So if you're if you stream gameplay, you don't want like a massive gif of Pikachu to go block out your cool 1v5 outplay, you know. So we're going to make sure we add the alert box here. But I'm just going to go and add my alert box. Let's go add the browser source. Let's add the alert box. Okay, alert box. Let's make this smaller. And I'm just going to go and center it right here. So now we have the alert box. We have our webcam, audio input capture, and display capture. Now, what a lot of what I recommend a lot of people have is a chat box. So how do you get the chat box? Now we're going to go to Streamlabs, and then we search up chat box widget settings. Click that. Close this. All right, and here is the widget settings for our chat box. So, I don't know. We can go select whatever you want for any of these settings. This is personally my settings. I I like to hit always show messages so the messages always are there so that they don't fade out. And we're going to go copy it. And we're going to do exactly what we did last time for the alert box. So, we're going to go um, back to hitting plus. We're going to add another browser source. Create new. And we're going to go paste our link right here. So again, I'm going to cancel it because I already have one. And let me go and add the browser source. Let me go add my chat box over here. Now this is super big, but we can just kind of like scale it down a little bit. Put the chat box right here. I think putting the chat box over your webcam, above your webcam like this is a pretty good idea. But again, it's personally up to you. All right, here is a temporary browser source that I made because I don't want to show the URL of my chat box. But if you want to go and change the size of your chat box, you literally just go change it here in the width and the height settings for your browser source. So let's just make the height like 900. Bam, and now it's a lot taller. So if your chat box is not fitting into whatever like art you made for your chat box, this is how you make it fit. And look, now it's about that big. So again, let me go get rid of it, get rid of this. So now we have our chat box, our alert box, our webcam, audio input caption, display caption. Now, on a side note, let me mention this. A lot of people have a hit or miss with display capture. A lot of people don't like using display capture because it captures random information that sometimes you don't want people to see. So like if you have Discord notifications coming up or if you have um, email alerts or something or if you have <laughs> install Windows now, activate Windows in the corner, all of that will show up with a display capture. So what you can also do is you can add a game capture. And then set it to capture any full screen application. And then normally you hit OK, but I'm going to cancel this because I also already have a game capture. So again, let me go add my game capture. And make sure also your game capture is um, above your display capture, but below your webcam, alert box, and chat box. And that will capture any full screen game that you pull up. And so if you don't if you don't want to show um, your display, you can just put a game capture and then like put like an image or something above um, 
but lower your game capture. If I put an image, you will not be able to see my sources anymore. So I unfortunately can't do that, but it will basically block out your screen so that you won't be able to see any like private info or something like that. And again, like what a lot of people, they kind of, they have a problem where they um, say if it can't see their alert box or chat box or whatever. A lot of times they did not, ha they had it below their game or display capture, which blocks the entire screen. And so you won't see it. It's, it's like a layering system. Right, so if I have my alert box here, but I put my game capture over it, you can't see the alert box. So make sure your alert box and your chat box and your webcam, anything you want to be seen, should be above your display or game capture, etc. And so in terms of OBS, this is the most basic setup you can have, in my opinion. This is just like, you know, basic, but it looks nice for streaming. Alright guys, so I hope that helped in terms of setting up your OBS to stream. And... Don't forget to go tune into my next YouTube video for more advice on how to start streaming. Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you guys haven't already because I will be posting more advice. Ooh, my hair is looking a little funny. And do not forget to go check out my Twitch, which is linked down below. I will be doing streamer advice Saturday. So every single Saturday... Ooh, I had to burp. I will be providing streaming advice and I will be um, reviewing you guys' streams. So I do it on a first-come, 1st first serve basis. So the first 30 people that show up to my stream on Saturdays will get added to my list of people and I will live re live time review you guys on my Twitch. So be there or be square guys and thank you so much for checking out my video.